The competitive meta in Apex has shifted quite a bit since its release in 2019. From hard ring, to bubble shoddy, to scanning, to hyper aggressive, to hybrid, and finally, the I can't see sh meta. The principal aggressor of this latest change has been Bangalore, and if you're trying to stay trendy and play up to the latest meta, which I think is a good idea, especially if you're as terrible as I am, then you might want to think about playing Bangalore. Now, since I am the lord of the thief of failure and the chief diplomat of the domain of the disappointed, I feel like I'm in the unique position, and might even have a divine responsibility, to show you how even someone as bad as me can use this kit to its fullest potential to get you in position for success. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now, I'm gonna do something different today, and I'm gonna show my gameplay and talk over it about what on earth I was thinking at the time, which is probably a really good question. So we're dropping hot, and I find an EVA 8 here at the start. Not my favorite gun ever, but it is what it is. Go up and challenge this guy. Use cover. Get the knock. But there's shots coming in from over here, and so what I should have done is smoked off the area first, and then finished the guy. But I finish him anyway. And here I'm thinking shield swap, because I just finished the fight, I probably need to swap shields. Now I didn't really take any damage, but then here, I do. So now I decide to smoke it off, I get the shield swap, and then I go to help my teammates, because they're in a fight. So we see the bad guy go up to the top, teammate goes after him, I try to hit some shots, but of course I miss. Teammate drops, we know we have to push this. Bad guy runs away, we're both thinking revive, teammate starts to revive the other one. I come after this, I pre-fire on the landing, which was a poor choice, but then I get the kill, so at least there's that. Now the EVA 8's never been my favorite gun, so I drop it like it's hot, get some other stuff, and then we're off to the races. And here I hear some footsteps, so I know that I need to be aware of things. And I get schwacked. That's not gonna work. Teammate tries to revive a couple times. Well, it would have worked. Finally decides to stick it. But at this point, it's been a minute. He gets me up, and I immediately go down again because he took forever to get the revive. Now here I'm just trying to block the guy. Teammate gets a crack. Oh, I took it over to that. Now we, we get the re yes, 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 yes. My immediate Good. thought is that I need to hit a battery, but as he gets me up, I start moving, and I hear other bad guys around me, and so I don't want to waste the time if there's someone around me. What I should have done, though, is started that battery immediately, or just hit some cells, because they're quicker. But I get the battery off, and then the hunt begins. I can hear footsteps. I get a really good spray on that guy. And then I decide I need to heal some more. Teammate gets a crack, and I dive in. Run away from the grenade. Try to get a... Try to finish the kill. Finish him. Knock another. Now there's only one. And he's up top. Now what I could have done is I could have smoked something in here. I thirst one of them, and then I finish him, because he's super deal. low. So now we've managed to wipe the first oh, couple teams, and it's going to be back, we're going to be back in here in a sec. Now clearly, I could have done a couple things better as Bangalore, I could have used my smokes a little bit better, but I was relying on and just my sheer really aim and gunfire, and it worked out, but it could have been much better. So as we rotate... I want All you to right. notice that my teammate hasn't healed yet. Now, I don't know if it's because he didn't have heals, if he didn't have cells. I'm not quite sure. He didn't ping anything. I didn't honestly notice while we were playing that he was low. But after fights, you should heal up. And here's why. So we get over here. A team flies in over us. I decide to heal myself because I had a tick left that wasn't healed. 
and we get pushed on. And teammate drops instantly. I somehow managed to get the kill, even though my aim is suspect at best. And now here my teammate is pinging that there are bad guys on that building. So what I should have done is either smoked the building or smoked me. One or the other, that should have happened. But it didn't. I tried to get the thirst. My teammate gets it. And now they're pushing. And this is where having some smoke would have come in handy. And also shooting straight. Oh, so low. Teammate dies in a moment, and then all is lost. Oh my God. So next game here. Wings coming in. We've already fought off one team here. But another team gets spotted, and so my teammates want to be aggressive, so I'm going to go support them. As I cross this open ground, I start getting shot. Someone throws a grenade. So I smoke off behind me. The reason for this is to break line of sight so that I can create space. <clears throat> the problem here is teammates keep pushing. I don't have a digi. Huck a grenade through the window, hope magic happens. It doesn't. Teammate goes down. As I come around the corner, we're fighting the octane. I knock the octane. Teammate's low. I thirst him. And here's where I should have used my smoke. There's an enemy on the other building. I didn't know that there was an enemy in my building, but I should have broken line of sight here. But I didn't, and I pay the price for it. Also, my shooting and game sense is terrible here. Oh, behind me, guy! So in this next game, we had looted up down in Thermal, and we're rotating up, and we hear enemies here. And the biggest mistake we make that I could have prevented as Bangalore is we just get into a long extended firefight with these guys. And here we see why it was a problem. Because another team rolls up on us and starts giving us trouble. I'm slow on the pickup, but I get shot at. And here I ping the enemies. What I should have done was smoked them off. Because at least then they wouldn't have been shoot at us easily. Well, we rotate. I heal myself. I try to heal myself. And we rotate back. I have no more cells. And my teammates are getting pushed on. So I hop up to give some covering fire. And again, I should have smoked it off because we were now pinched between two teams. If the team from down yeah, below wanted to push off. up on us, they'd be able to. I use my ultimate and my smoke, finally, to try and give us some space so that we can back off, which we successfully do. So at least I finally got it right. Now I'm pinging that we need to go out and around because I see that that's where the ring's gonna end up and I'm moving that direction. My teammates are following, and they're doing a good job, but then we start getting shot from behind. And I get a pretty darn good spray. Teammate does a good job. We've got more bad guys coming in. A shot at a grenade. I don't know, it's very confusing. I get lit up. Yep, and it's a lifeline, of course. Teammate goes down. So my first thought is to go help. And I get shot. Now here is my first really good use of smoke. I'm really hurt, so I need to create cover so that I can heal. I put smoke down so that the teams that are coming up from both sides of us can't see up at me, they'll have to shoot each other to attack. So then I can go back and heal. So pop the battery, our teammates crawling back, and here's the other team. And I annihilate that guy. Finally hitting shots, it felt good. I lay down some covering fire. Here, another smoke would have been good to just clear the area. I use a thermite instead. Try and punch my guy back to cover. Teammate revives him. I'm ticking his shield, I guess. But now we need to reset. There's still 10 squads left, and so I'm thinking we need to get back into the ring and figure out the best place to be. So we chill back here for a while, and in no time it's only three squads left. And my teammates are bound and determined to hold this gap. Which makes sense to me. 
So I come back up here to see what's going on. Both teams are on that side of this pass. And so we know that if we can hold this, then we might win. I hit some really good shots and knock a guy, but need to heal. Teammates holding one. down. And this is again where smokes would really come in handy because that would stop them from being able to shoot us and force them to attack each other. Over there, so we just gotta play keep out here. And see, I even say it in the feed. I know that we just have to play feed, uh, keep out. And this is the same team that we were fighting down when they were on low ground and we were on high ground. Oh. Yeah. Hit my teammate there. Get another good couple shots. Another good couple shots. And then we get flanked. They rotate around us and we allow it to happen. And instead of putting smokes down and dropping back, I just run. And here's where I really should have put smokes down earlier instead of just run away. I, I know I need to heal myself. Teammate goes down. Other teammates far on the other side. We're split. This is a really bad position now. I see the... Fat man, whatever his name is. I get some good shots, but man, I'm hurting. And so I run away. And as I run away, I run into the ash. And there's not much I can do here. I die. And it's not too much longer before our team is dead again. Now, this last game for you I have, I was on Broken Moon. I had a relatively interesting game. It was a lot of fun. So teammate spots somebody over there, so we turn around to go check it out. I see shots coming in from over there. Our horizon gets schwacked. Now I hit some pretty good shots, but I also got caught. So I know I need to heal here. I don't know why I'm looking straight up. This is one of these situations where using, using smoke would be a really good idea, because we need to move to a better position. So I smoke it off so that we can rotate. And at this point, we need to go even further. So I smoke it off there so that we can continue backing up. See teammate getting out. And so I follow. So great use of smoke there as a cover. We rotate around the map through the backside, through the ring. We come out on the backside of gardens. We need to heal up a little bit. We hear shooting in front of us, so we know that stuff's about to go down. Somebody's bang alt, bang alt just landed. Teammate spots a team in the gully underneath us, and so we open fire. That guy dies. Now here's another instance where I could have used smoke to smoke off that team that, that I'm shooting at right now. I don't know if I needed to, but it, it, it could have worked. I note that I tighten up during fights, which is absolutely true. Controller looting there. A uh, little pro tip here, when you're on controller and you're going to loot in the middle, do something. Jump, duck. Y you're, not on you're not on mouse and keyboard, so you can't move, but you do have a little bit. Like if you're just looking for a quick shield swap, then, well... At least jump. Teammate's deciding that he needs to push, so we're gonna go follow. I smoke off that team so that they can't shoot us. And then instead of smoking off that team, I just shot them. Now I smoke. So here again, I'm using smoke as cover so that we can move through this open area. This is a relatively perilous cross, so I needed to heal myself a bit. And then teammate puts a zipline down, we hop on the zipline, I see shots coming in from dead in front, so I throw a smoke over there. But we're on a zip line going in a straight line. They're standing right on the other side of it. Those shots are easy to hit. So I drop off, need to hit a battery, and then the unthinkable happens. My batteries die. 
this is the look of shame. But I get him back and I get back into the action. But at this point, my teammate's dead because my batteries die. I should have smoked here because I knew that team was up there. I think I was still in full freakout mode for my batteries dying though, so. I give myself a slight pass on that, but it's only a slight one. So now we're in this building, which is right in the middle of the circle. It seems like relatively good position. So I'm happy with the way we rotated. I feel like I used smokes relatively well. Now, the other thing I haven't used, I haven't used my alt. Rolling Thunder has not come down yet. It could have helped a couple times through that, through that movement, but I never used it. So there's that. Teammate got an enemy down, put a zip line down, and off we go. It's a rescue mission. Now, why our horizon went that way, I don't know. I put smoke down to cover our back. There was one guy down. I drop down. And then by a miracle, I get the kill. But sadly, there's no beacon, so we can't actually revive our teammate. So I noticed that the team that was in this building has moved off, and so we come over and take it. Which ends up being a really good call. The team that was in this building is now in the middle donut building, and we start shooting at them. And I miss everything. Well, mostly everything. And this goes on for a while. Well, now there are only two other squads. Us being the duo, we need to make sure that the other two teams fight each other first, and then we come in and play cleanup. So that's the plan. And they're fighting. We hear them finishing. Here's another great tip. As you push a fight, is a great time to hit a cell if you need just incremental health. So here we push in. There's only one team left. I, I huck some grenades in there. I throw them to Timbuktu. Now I have a digi, so I can use my smokes to create a screen for us. So I put my smoke down. Miraculously, I get a knock. I think I knocked the fuse there, and I think it's because he walked through his own fire. Which, I mean, I'll take. So there's fighting down there. I pop another, another smoke down there just to give us some cover. I hear the revive going on below us, so I dive down to go clean it up. Big spray on the Revenant. And then I re-peek. Decent spray on the Conduit. Come down over to where I've got the other smoke. I see the Conduit up the side, huck a grenade, kill the Conduit. Now it's a 1v1. I get the shield swap. Now I have another smoke. I should have shot it right here to finish this fight off. But I didn't. I end up outgunning him. And that's the game. So you see, there are things, there are things that you can do even as a mediocre player where you can use Bangalore's kit to make your games that much better. I'm a mediocre player at best, but because I know the game, I know rotations, and I know how to use players relatively well. I'm still working on Bangalore. I haven't really ever played her. But through learning her and through using their kit, you can actually do much better than you probably should be able to do, given your skill level, and I'm living proof of that. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you have another legend that you'd like me to play and break down, let me know in the comments. Also, I'll be streaming on Wednesday night, so come on by and hang out. I'd love to have you join. And if you don't, well, maybe I'll see you out there.